A company called Research in Motion is another darling of Canadian and U.S. markets right now. It makes a wireless device much like a pager for sending and receiving email. And it uses Canadian talent to feed an almost insatiable U.S. demand for quick communications. But that education and talent has always been available in Canada. That drive has always been here. It's just being noticed because the world has gone global through a virtual mechanism called the Internet. These companies aren't just building on a booming economy, it seems they're rebuilding its very foundations. If you take a look at Canada's high economic growth over the past two years, it really reflects the growth in the high-tech sector. If you look at traditional manufacturing, low-tech manufacturing and resources, that's hardly grown at all. Or take a look at the Toronto Stock Exchange. Right now, the science and technology companies outvalue resources and financial companies put together. Individual companies may come and go, but experts say the change brought by the internet is permanent. And to suggest it's a fad would be the equivalent of suggesting that the railway was a fad. In fact, what's going on now has many similarities to the national dream of the 1800s. Both revolutionized the Canadian economy, both required lots of American investment to do it. The economic engine today is the internet. Think of it this way, the rails or the raw materials are fiber optic cables and switches made by Canadian giants like Nortel and JDS Uniphase. Laying down the track, the cross-country network is done by telecommunications companies like Bell. The cargo which rolls down it is data, pictures and sound and e-commerce sent by companies like Chapters Online and so many others. And that Bell? That's the sound of the markets, optimistic that the internet can boost other industries too by cutting their costs. Old economy companies now are jumping on this way. The automobile industry is a spectacular example of this. The banking industry is doing the same, even traditional retailers. They're getting the message and scores of Canadian companies are making money delivering it. Sasha Petrasek, CBC News, Kitchener, Ontario.